get started with Keras. So in this section, we're going to take a look at how to set up the environment, install Keras and run our first model. We're also going to see about how to configure GPU to work with Keras. And uh, we will also have an overview of the main Keras API functionalities and also everything that is related to the model. So our deep learning model, so how to design and train them. And finally, we're going to see about regularization in deep learning. So regularization is just a way to avoid overfitting when training deep neural networks. Configuration of Keras. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to configure um, a GPU to work with deep learning framework. So in that case, with TensorFlow and Keras uh, on Linux, Ubuntu. Um, second thing, we're going to set up the environment and the packages for TensorFlow and Keras. And third thing, we're going to see how to run deep learning models on both CPU and GPU. So for the GPU configuration, so you may skip this step if you plan to run a CPU. However, I highly recommend you to train deep learning models um, on GPU because it's much faster. If you don't have a GPU at home, uh, you can always um, subscribe on AWS, so Amazon Web Service. You can spin up a GPU if needed. So the Keras configuration now. So um, in this video, we're going to see how to set up a GPU on an Amazon instance or basically on any computer with Ubuntu and NVIDIA GPU graphic card. First of all, we need to update the packages. So just run this command. It will update uh, all the Ubuntu packages. And uh, after that, we need to install Python and all of the dependencies. In this tutorial, we're going to use Python 3 because Python 2 is going to be discontinued uh, in a few years from now. And we're going to install the NVIDIA driver. So just run this command. So we're going to use CUDA 8. You can also browse on the website. You select Linux, uh, architecture 64 bits, Ubuntu. It's probably the 16.0.4, the latest version, and the dev file important. And then all what you need to do is to run this command. So you do just hit this download button and you run those commands. So those commands are basically the command that you saw on the NVIDIA website. Now you need to reboot. And at that time, you will be able to run uh, NVIDIA SMI command. So NVIDIA SMI is basically listing your GPUs. So in that case, I have four GPUs, Titan X Pascal. I have scripts running on each of them. And I can see, you know, in real time. So I can just run this command just to show you NVIDIA SMI. So it will update every second. So we can see in real time and so on. VCC, which is the NVIDIA compiler, shouldn't work at that time. Uh, so all what you need to do is to run those commands every time you reboot your computer. So I strongly advise you to uh, add those lines into your bash profile or your bash RC or your ZH RC, and then just execute them and you will be able to run NVCC. So you're going to have a warning. Uh, you don't really care about this warning. It's not important, but you're going to see uh, no input file specified. So in that case, it means it works because you would need uh, NVCC to, to compile uh, Keras and TensorFlow code into CUDA binaries. So once it's done, you need to download the CUDNN. So CUDNN is basically an NVIDIA uh, library for deep learning to uh, neural networks to increase the performance of the default libraries. So basically it's a set of function and inside a shared object, so it's a library. You need to download them uh, through their website. For this one, you need to register and you need to specify this one, TUDNN 5.8 for CUDA 8. So we've been using CUDA 8 so far and uh, maybe TensorFlow will also uh, support CUDA 9, but for now, as of uh, August 2017, it's uh, 5.1 CUDA 8, but I guess soon it's going to be 7.0 for CUDA 9. Uh, and then, so all what you need to do, so if you just uh, run on Amazon instance, you can just upload this CUDA DNN stuff directly to your Amazon instance, and then you unzip it, and then you just run those two commands. So basically, if you just run on Amazon, you execute this line. If you run on, the, on your own server, you don't need to, because this is just to load via SCP, the CUDA DNN. So, all what you need to do, uh, if you have your own server, is just to download this file, CUDA DNN, extract it, and uh, copy with sudo 
So you copy the content to this directory, user local CUDA include and user local CUDA lib64. And then uh, we will see if it works. We're going to see how to install Keras, so line by line. Um, first, we have to make sure Python 3 is installed. So here it's installed, 3.5, okay. We're going to create a virtual environment with Python 3, like this. We're going to call it VM, okay. Now we're going to source it. It means we're going to read from it. We're going to activate it. And it depends if you want to compile TensorFlow with the GPU or not. I strongly suggest you to use TensorFlow GPU. But if you don't have a GPU, uh, you can just install like this. So here is no GPU. And then for me, I have GPU, so I'm going to install with GPU. All right. Okay, it's installing. All right, now I'm going to install Keras and H5Py, uh, which is a library to save and load models. Okay, now it's done. Um, I'm going to git clone the Keras repository because it contains examples and we're going to run one. All right cd example so okay i'm going just to run one i need to uh, run those commands here here we go When I specify CUDA visible device, I just specify I want to run on GPU zero. Okay. It's starting. All right. So here we can see that we found a device zero with property Titan X Pascal. So here, recognize it's running fast, taking 11 seconds for MNIST on one single epoch. So that's actually pretty fast. So we're actually running on the GPU now. So if you just want to run on the CPU, you can of course pip reinstall TensorFlow, but if you did that already with TensorFlow GPU, all what you need to do is just to remove this one and tells TensorFlow that no devices are available. So run on the CPU, please. All right, see, now it's much slower, 70 seconds roughly compared to 11 seconds. Okay.